Almost a quarter of the world's 7 billion people are living in countries highly vulnerable to food crises. That's according to leading charity ActionAid. It looked at 28 countries and picked out the ones least able to cope with climate change, depleting natural resources and high food prices. Pakistan is considered the most vulnerable and the least prepared country. And one surprisingly omission is Somalia. ActionAid says it is extremely concerned about Somalia, but cannot get up-to-date data. Ethiopia, Zambia and Kenya are also ranked amongst the 10 most vulnerable countries, but the report also identifies them as three countries most ready to deal with future changes. Peter Gresta sent this report from the Kenyan capital, Nairobi. Imagine how hungry you'd have to be to see dry bones as a source of nutrition. In Turkana, in Kenya's far north, it's all they have left. Here, the government has spent nothing of the funds it lavished on agricultural development in other areas of the country. It's one reason Kenya now ranks as one of the world's most food insecure nations. Across Africa, most farming is by hand on tiny overworked plots. Even in the naturally fertile Rwanda, farmers struggle to survive. Now, a joint report from the UN's three big food and agriculture agencies argues that volatile global food prices has made crucial investments all but impossible. It is, says the FAO, a modern problem. From 2007 onwards, we start to see an incredible fluctuation and volatility of market price, which are really push the poorest to the edge and often really put the most vulnerable people in higher difficulties and create a lot of instability in the area. In Nairobi's cereals market, traders complain that when prices are low, farmers can't afford to invest in the land, leading to shortages. That drives prices up, so demand collapses, dragging prices with it. That bouncing ball effect is incredibly damaging. Recently, the Kenyan government introduced price control legislation. It said that was to protect the poorest from those international price fluctuations. But the report warns that that kind of action only makes things far worse. That's because although price controls protect consumers from outside influences like rising fuel costs, it makes it harder for farmers to cope with internal shocks like drought. Investment in agriculture is the medicine to all these problems, is the drugs that we have to provide to all these problems. And because they invested in agriculture, Ethiopia and Kenya, they, we had much less crisis in these two countries compared to what happened in Somalia. But not this kind of investment. The rich world's demand for things like flowers and biofuels is taking valuable land away from food. Combined with unstable prices, it means an agricultural system that leaves a quarter of the world still hungry. Peter Grester, 